Hi, I'm Katie. In this week's industry update, NASA is getting a closer look at our solar system's biggest planet, and a new robotic glove is primed for action in factories in the U.S. As we celebrated our Independence Day, NASA's Juno spacecraft finished its close to two billion mile voyage from Earth to successfully enter Jupiter's orbit. Juno was launched close to five years ago on the mission, hoping to find out exactly what's inside the huge planet. Because of Jupiter's immense gravity, the probe had to conduct a tricky maneuver to slow down enough to even allow it to be pulled into orbit. The $1.1 billion mission is expected to last for the next 20 months as NASA plans for Juno to orbit Jupiter 37 times. Right now, the spacecraft's trajectory is 53-day orbit, close to 2,600 miles above the planet's dense clouds. In October, the real fun will begin when Juno will fire its engines to enter a 14-day orbit. Scientists will be using an array of sensors, cameras, and other scientific equipment. NASA hopes to get radio signals that will reveal minute variations in the gravitational field to help determine if Jupiter has a rocky core. Magnetic field measurements will provide insight on churning electric current deep inside the planet, and microwave emissions will tell researchers about the temperatures and concentrations of any water. Now, because Jupiter is our biggest planet in the solar system and one of the first formed, data collected will also tell scientists about the cosmic leftovers that coalesced into the other planets. The mission is set to end in February of 2018 when Juno is expected to crash into Jupiter. The RoboGlove could be making its way to U.S. factories to help on the production line. RoboGlove, a motor assistic glove designed by NASA and General Motors, was developed for use on the International Space Station. But now GM has plans to develop a new robotic glove that can be used in factories. GM is partnering with BioServo Technologies, a Swedish medical technology firm, with plans to combine the RoboGlove with its own grip assisting technology. The hopes are to boost worker output and reduce the fatigue in the hand muscles. The glove would be able to reduce the amount of force that a worker needs to exert when operating a tool for an extended period of time. The end product could be useful in markets like medical rehabilitation and manufacturing. GM intends to try out the glove in its U.S. plants where it will give extra strength to factory workers. Pressure sensors in the glove will recognize when the user is holding an object. This will then trigger the actuator and synthetic tendon system to tighten and strengthen the user's grip. A battery pack worn on the user's belt provides the glove with power. RoboGlove joins a number of products being developed by companies like Hyundai, BMW, and Panasonic that use such technology to make factories safer and more efficient. No timeline has been given for the glove's deployment. That's it for this week's industry update. Make sure you stay tuned next week for more of the latest news in electronics, automation, and robotics.